Hey guys, it's Dora here. Instead of saying welcome to my workshop, I'm now saying welcome to my home. So uh, it's most likely a lot of you, hopefully a lot of you, I'm staying at my house. So I'm trying to do uh, a lot of my, my work from my home. As they say, this is the only way to potentially slow down and stop the virus. Um, our workshop and production is currently running on a, on a minimum capacity since our staff is also working mostly from their home. But we're really doing our best to uh, finalize more and more projects. It really means a lot to see how many of you build our cameras and actually use them. So um, what I see on, on my social media pages is, is really great to see how you build them, how you print them, how you use them. So it's, it's really heartwarming to see how what we love and what we put our passion into is, is so much appreciated and has a, has a place in, in photography world. So what I can promise is um, we're doing our best to bring out what we can from this situation. I'd actually love to show you guys a couple of things we've been working on for quite a time now. So this is, um, this is what we will be talking about in this video. I'm proudly presenting you our newest camera that we've actually been working on for three years now. <laughs> it seems like forever. But um, this is our new open source panoramic pinhole camera. It's called Scura. <laughs> what uh, took us so long is uh, that we put a lot of effort and energy into fine tuning a lot of uh, small details and also testing it thanks to the laser drilled pinhole and the curved design what we actually feel is that uh, we've managed to come out with the best uh, possible results what uh, we see is that it has uh, really nice uh, details and a lot of vivid colors it's going to be available uh, through our website just like all of our open source projects free of charge so i encourage you guys that have a 3d printer at home to give it a try and build from scratch but um, for you that you the guys that you do not have a 3d printer at home it's going to be available for order from us so it's going to come in a kit with uh, the laser drilled pinhole plates and and um, everything necessary to build it all the equipment all the tools so once more the people that do not have access to a 3d printer this is going to be available from us as well so you can order it in a kit in this challenging time when uh, a lot of small businesses are affected by this troubling situation, we're not hiding the fact that we're in the need of some support from the photography community. The current circumstances are, have risked our further ongoing and, um, and have actually risked our project. So if you guys have the chance to order a square kit from us, I kindly ask you to please do so. It's a camera that is really easily buildable and, and usable and it has some really, really nice uh, pictures and end results. I'd like to show you guys a couple of further projects that are almost ready for production. The first addition to our Not A Bottle series is a, a bottle, plastic bottle based gimbal. It's actually a device that easily fits uh, into your pocket but comes alive using upcycled bottles. We're also working on a waste level finder rig for compact cameras. This device helps reduce motion blur as a camera is held against the body using a strap. And it also attracts uh, less attention compared to an eye level finder. So anyone into street photography, this is something that I definitely recommend myself worth a try. We've launched our Good Lab system. That's an ultra low cost uh, time lapse and turntable device. This is what we actually use when we make our own turntable videos. All the test videos and all the details are available on our website, so make sure to check that out as well. Among other ideas, we're, we're planning to come out with a DIY camera strap videos, wooden inlay tutorials, as well as downloadable cutout sheets, so you guys can cover your cameras or coat your cameras with wood yourselves. All of the above projects, as well as our small staff, are financed by the sales of our cameras. And um, we have temporarily added a donation button to our open source projects and are working super hard on, on making more of our pro projects purchasable. 
I really wish uh, all of us strength in this in this troubling and, and really hard time. And I, I really hope that uh, all of us have time and, and the possibility to uh, to work on something that we love and, and put a lot of, um, of positive energy into our passion. Also, please don't forget about your family members and, and especially older family members. What I think is that they're actually having a harder time that we all do. So what I'll do is I'll actually call my grandma <laughs> right after recording this, um, this video. What uh, I'd love to say is uh, live long and prosper, but uh, I have a really hard time holding my fingers apart. So please uh, try to imagine it here. Take care, guys. Bye.